on the way for its sixth season, Lucifer is particularly popular thanks to the good-looking devil played by Tom Ellis. While everyone is talking about the plot of the very anticipated sixth season, we've decided to talk about Tom Ellis. A cheater? An awful sense of humor that got him in trouble? Keep watching to see these facts about him and you'll never watch the actor the same way. Parent-Child Relationship safe. That's all that matters. Oh, before we get into this, we should mention that Tom holds the title of People's Sexiest Man of the Week. In addition to Lucifer, Ellis played the titular role in Rush and has appeared on the BBC One soap opera EastEnders. But, despite his previous works, most people know him as Lucifer. While many people may recognize him from this role, even the most dedicated fans are unaware of what kind of person the actor is. That's why we're here. Prepare to see some shocking facts about the handsome devil. Tom Ellis has proved to everyone in the world that with his acting talents and his amazing looks, he can capture your heart almost immediately. But what do his three daughters think of him playing Lucifer? Well, you'll be surprised. According to the famous actor, his girls are not fascinated at all with his role. Or to watch their dad on the telly as he so puts it. My kids are the least impressed about any work that I do, which is quite amusing. Ellis told in an interview with People. Whenever he appears on the small screen, he'll go, look, it's dad on the telly. And they'll sort of look up a cursory glance and then carry on with what they're doing. Cause it really doesn't haze them at all, the actor said. According to him, they are his biggest fans as a dad but not as an actor. While their daughters are not impressed with the devil, we certainly are. But wait until you hear what happened with him and his ex-wife, you'll probably change your mind about him. The son of a Baptist preacher. Or what? You'll cry really hard on my shoulder. You will not speak to me this way! Oh, the irony. When you find out that Ellis plays the devil himself and his father was a Baptist pastor who, as the actor puts it, also had a passion for amateur operatics. It's not easy to look at Ellis the same way you looked before. Also, did you guys know that Ellis appeared in nativity plays when he was a kid? However, he only played minor roles as his father never approved of him playing a significant role because of nepotism. Acne Issues Punish Marshall Reynolds. It's mine. Like every person on the planet, Tom Ellis, as he's also just a human, has regular problems just like us. One of those problems is being solved with Dermalogica, which is a product for acne. Ellis has had struggles with acne since he was a teenager and we all know that's normal. But his problems continued years after that. Can you guys believe that the actor uses the same product he used while he was a teen? He stated that even today, he couldn't go on without Dermalogica and whatever that product does to him, it works. He's over 30 and he looks damn fine. Really bad sense of humor? Hell, oh, but peace... Peace is boring. Whatever you want, I can get it for you. Have you heard anything? Way back in the 2000s, Ellis was just at the start of his career, and as he puts it, his twisted sense of humor got him into a lot of trouble. After graduating from drama school in 2000, he went on a job search. Now, things were great for an actor who just started his career, but as Tom said in an interview, the sensitive dynamic that exists between a star and production assistants is not being taught at acting school and how a practical joke can turn into a living hell. Now, here's a story that Tom shared. When he got the part in Buffalo Soldiers, in which Joaquin Phoenix was the lead role, things were more than fine. The film features a group of American soldiers based in Germany during the fall of the Berlin Wall, and it focuses on a more comedic tone. According to him, being on this film set was so much fun as they did so many practical jokes during lunch breaks, so they killed boredom in a really fun way. However, his next job was on a new show for the BBC called Nice Guy Eddie, so even if there was fun in joking on the set of this show, there were no practical jokes according to Ellis. Tom got really close with a young PA who sat with him on lunch breaks. As she sat opposite him one day, he saw that someone just took a dessert that was a trifle. So he got the dessert, a bowl of trifle, he went back and sat opposite this girl on the dining bus surrounded by the entire cast and crew. And he said to her, does this smell funny to you? And she leaned forward and so he, believe it or not, slammed it in her face. Instead of laughing, she and everyone else was mortified. The director said to the actor, Tom, 
That was really out of order. Would you guys approve of this kind of joke? Or is it too much? Let us know in the comment section below. Oh, and smack that like button if you haven't done so already. Ellis hates LA drivers. Well, so many people do. But according to Tom Ellis, this is the thing he hates the most when he works in the US. It's a huge place, a lot of people, a lot of vehicles, hence the chaos. He said that he hates them because of the way they're driving, or to be more precise, the way they forgot about the rules when driving. Oh, and according to him, he also finds it really bad when he sees someone texting and driving. Now, prepare to hear something that will completely change the way you look at Tom Ellis. A cheater? Power they have until they leave you and you want them back. When you love someone, you're allowed to make mistakes. Is that right? Well, before Tom Ellis found his true love, he made a few mistakes, but that's behind him now as he looks more than in love with his new wife, Megan Oppenheimer. She started her career working on a short film called Hot Mess. After that, she developed a screenplay for the musical film We're Your Friends, starring Zac Efron and Emily Ratajkowski. The film was really successful, grossing about $11.1 million in box office against a $2 million budget. But let's talk about Tamsin Althwaite, who was Tom's first wife. Years ago, their seven-year marriage ended. The reason, as Tamsin Althwaite revealed, the father of her two children confessed he had been unfaithful to her. According to the Sunday Mirror, the actor said he had a brief fling with another woman and, as all reports state, it was a one-night stand. And after his mistake, his decision was to end the marriage. An insider said, Tamsin is distraught. She thought Tom was the perfect husband, but after they agreed to separate, they had a long heart-to-heart -heart and he admitted he had been unfaithful during their marriage. As you can see, Tom didn't have a lot of luck in his love life until he met Megan Oppenheimer. Ever since the couple got together, there has been only good news about them and they look quite happy together. But it's really rare to see Megan anywhere as she prefers to be as private as she can. Well, we just hope they're happy. Yoga classes? Deserve someone better. Lost I will never religion, be faith. Faith. Some... Actors often need to put their daily habits behind for the role they're playing. Some of them need to lose weight, some gain weight, and Tom needed to put junk food, beer, and his favorite one, bacon, behind him since he needed to stay in shape for his role in Lucifer. The handsome actor has also revealed that he enjoys doing yoga instead of lifting weights. Anyone else imagining Lucifer doing the lotus pose? Season 6 could possibly include this in their plot. What's your favorite and least favorite thing about Tom Ellis? You can share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.